Do you use goo on everything you cast out? When I started using it, I wasn't entirely convinced. I started fishing two rods, six feet apart, one rod with goo, one without. The rods, the goo rods outperformed the other over a four month period. So I started using goo on every rod and it was awesome. I started fishing another venue, so went back on one rod on goo, one without, and since then I haven't caught anything on the, go on the goo rod, but I'm catching with the non goo baits. It's messing my head up. <laughs> right. So try different goos. Like he's keeping his options open yeah. with goo and not goo, try the different ones because there's a big, there's a just as big difference, if not a bigger difference, within this range than there is between this and not, not having it on. You know. So, yeah. Um, tr try some different ones, mate. We've, we're, we've probably all had options, but I remember going to a lake uh, full of carp um, in in Tip Tree, Brook Hall. Yeah. Known it really well. It was where I caught my first carp from. So went down with my kids, fishing on the whip, and I thought I'd have a carp rod down the edge. And I was just fishing little bags with, I think it was Perfect Peach. Kept plopping it down, could not get it's a not bite. It's not there anymore. It's not, no, it's not. It's just <laughs> right. one of the gold ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah but go. started to have a play, put halibut haze on, put it back in the same spot, had a bite straight away. First of all, thought, well, you know, carp are coming in, it's, it's going to happen. Had three quick fish on that method, went back to peach, couldn't get a bite. And if yeah. you'd have just stuck to one go, you'd say, oh, this is rubbish, this yes. stuff, it don't work. You yeah. have got to have a little play, yeah. as Tom said, keep your options open. And, that, and that's why I don't think it'll ever be used like the South Africans have used it, with almost like a, a giant pod, a cupboard between their rods. Yeah. I can't imagine the English and European anglers ever going to that level of experimenting, because a lot of their fishing in South Africa is bank fishing, which is our form of match fishing, if you like. Yeah. They've, they've often even got two hooks and two yeah. feeders on one rod that they cast out. So uh, they're really experimenting. Yeah, the funny, the, like, most other fishing is like that. Yeah. It's you just know, like fly, yeah. fly fishing, yeah. sea, sea fishing. Sea fishing. Yeah. If you've been off the side of a boat, you put a bit of mackerel on or whatever, yeah, yeah. nothing, put a bit of squid on, nothing, put yeah. one of them worms on straight away, you've yeah. got one. Yeah, they're and there, that, aren't that they? That is the difference in, yeah. in, in your bait. And people don't. Uh, you know, try don't enough. They don't, they don't and we've been guilty of that. You sit there at something, it's just not happening, where there's other things you can try that would probably nick a bite here, mm. there, yeah. here and there, you know? Yeah. But what the, the whole point is, if you don't try them and you don't adjust, and, and Tom, go to uh, underwater, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously you fished after me to start with because you then had to leave, didn't you? Yeah. And the very first, I was using, uh, we did the raspberry plume pellets, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So we had the mainline spot and people put a bit of raspberry plume and dried them out. and. We discuss I felt like it got a bit of a reaction, but not not amazing enough for us to go, wow. We were put in the day we caught the big plated, yeah. we had the corn we had all the, the particles soaked in the corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That all got forgotten about because obviously it was all about the boy, but all the particles was in the corn, yeah. you know. Um then as time progressed I started fishing. I used the tutti fruity on the orange one and it didn't really I had that one bite, didn't I? I lost yeah. at the end of the day. But it wasn't until the almond was used that we really were like, wow. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's that's kind of like what this guy is saying. Yeah, leave, yeah. Leave, you've got to leave your options open. We keep, keep, keep saying the same thing, but it's like you've got to keep trying different ones because one of them really does often work better than the others. Definitely. And there isn't actually anything else that I've used that um, you can tell that has it, like shows the evidence that yeah. obviously. Yeah. Whereas on that underwater, that almond was like, if you if you don't believe if it. You're, you're stupid if you, if you don't understand. <laughs> and we edited it. it down because it looked too too one way, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was like it was yeah. a sales promotional pitch, mm. but it was. Um, you had you you had a session. Was it last winter when when you did um, you were fishing on St John's or a cup and a bumbleberry had just come out. Yeah, yeah and that. and you actually told me the bumbleberry was out fishing everything. It was at the time. Yeah, I was fishing maggots. Yeah. Um, I was fishing maggots and crushed boilie and I think some crushed tigers. I think, um, but may, maybe seventy percent maggots in my mix. Um, and as always, put three different hook baits out in the beginning. Bumbleberry was on the middle rod, and if your middle rod goes first, weird, first it? time it's weird. It's like some, something's better with that because they're normally coming in from left or right. So, or one of your rigs is sitting badly. So then I put it out again. Middle rod goes again. Bumbleberry. I think that's really strange. So I moved the middle rod over to the right hand rod. Put say the pineapple in the middle out. Right hand rod now goes with the bumbleberry. And you're thinking, right, well, it's, de it's definitely the bumbleberry. So now I put it on the left hand rod that hasn't done a bite yet. Get another bite, and I ended up with like thirty something fish. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, All yeah. three on bumbleberry. All three on bumbleberry. Yeah, if you work out that quickly. Bumbleberry we, party. Yeah, well, <laughs> if, you, if you work out that quickly, what's going on? Yeah. It, 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 yeah, you get a, you have a good session in the end. And and that I think is a lot of the problem with people having a a, a hesitation or a resistance to use a product. Tom is going fishing totally open minded and has so much confidence in the goo that he's willing to make the tweaks on the day 
to make the changes to get the results.